Hi, welcome to part 2 of Adobe Dreamweaver CS4. Now in this part I'm going to be showing you the different menus and how to insert your text to your first page. Now the basic menu that you can use is a menu bar that's a bit harder than a normal bar or you can also use your collapsible panels which require you to click on it. A menu bar looks a lot better but a collapsible panel is a lot easier to use. Now before you do anything you'll want to insert a table. Depending on how many websites or pages you want, as you want one row, it depends how many columns you want. So say I want about four pages at 768 pixels, I'll be able to insert that. Once you've done that, you can insert your menu bar, which you just click over on the right. You will have col common as your first one. You click on this little down arrow, and up will come with a list of features. You want to click on your spry, go down, click on spry menu bar. You can also go to the insert bit up here. So you want to insert a horizontal or vertical. I'm going to use horizontal. And as you can see, it inserts four. Now all we want is one per column. So I'm going to delete this is other three. And then we'll just have the one. And we can call it whatever we want. Home page, home. And that's properly named. Now you want to drag all of this all the way over. You also want to align to the center as well because as I said before it looks a lot better. Now you want to insert a new menu bar which is going to be horizontal and get rid of this crap. So you get rid of that one, that one and that one. Then you've just got this one. And I might actually get rid of this last page here, this last column. So you just right click on it, go to table and click delete column. And that leaves me with three. Now I'm going to merge this a little bit better so I can fit it all on. And now I'm going to insert my last spray menu bar. So I'm going to click on spray menu bar and go back onto the horizontal. And it will insert over here four different things. So I'm going to get rid of three that I don't want. And insert the one that I do want. And once that is done it should automatically go back up for you. Now, when you want the links to it, you want to click on this little blue bar at the top, which is the menu bar. Spray menu bar, menu bar 1. So you click on that, and it will already come up with the different things that you can insert. So over here where it says text, you've got your text of your first page, and you can insert the link to the page. So you click on the default page, which is your home page. And there you have your link. Now that have you have finished your first page, you can click save. And since you've done your banner up top, you want this for all of your pages. So you want to save this <coughs> for as many pages as you're going to have. So you save it as again, but you'll save it as as your different pages with no spaces. So one of your pages will be called shopping cart and it will insert up here. One of your pages would be called flowers. So again you save as as flowers. 
and then you have your different pages this is just the basic three page so it's not too hard and going back to default.html you'll want to go onto your second menu bar item click on the little blue bar and you've got these little three items I'm going to get rid of two because I only need one so I'm going to click the minus button twice and then it'll only have here if you want to insert any more you just click the plus and if you want to insert any from that you click the plus here and it'll insert it next to it and you just click the minus to get rid of it so over here you've got your text and the link to the page so you click on that little folder icon and up will come this so you click on your shopping cart and you'll have that you do the same with over here menu bar 3 you get rid of two of these if you don't want them and plus if you want more and you put in your specified name and you do your link to the page and once you've done the link you hit the save button but rather than doing this for all the pages that you're going to have you save as again so you save the page again you re overwrite the file and you save as again so that should do that page as well now we're going to hit the button F12 this will open up your default browser onto your website and this is the website so far it isn't too professional looking but it's a basic website so you've got your home page your shopping cart by the way you don't need to click it will automatically go open and your flowers you can insert as many as you want as many across and down as you want so each time you insert one it will automatically go next to it and it will take you to the different pages see how up here it's got default now it's got shopping cart also with the pages if you go to the title if you click home page make it something like flowers, hit the save button go over to the second page call it what the page is might even want to put flowers there to show you that this is the page hit save, go over to flowers and hit save and that means that when you go back to your home page when you press F12 and preview it it's got home page dash flowers which is basically like the site's name the company's name and as soon as you go to a different page it'll go to a different title as well that's another good little thing with the menu bar and the different page names thank you for listening to this tutorial i hope you see part three